That's a lot of nuts! So Chris Chan is a person on the internet. Samet, there's plenty of people on the internet. Why would you do an episode on Chris Chan? Chris Chan is a very well-documented person on the internet. Samet, it's the internet. Everybody's well-documented. What makes Chris Chan so special? Chris Chan might just be the most documented individual on the internet ever. A person who leads such an eventful life, and yet such a sad life, and yet is such a creative person, and yet at the same time might have a severe case, maybe autism, maybe ADHD, there is something wrong with Chris Chan. Nobody's super happy with the latest DLC drop of the Chris Chan game, okay? Everybody's pretty freaked out by the latest thing that Chris Chan has been doing. The reason that you guys are now seeing Chris Chan pop back up on the internet topic virality charts is because of a leaked audio which appears to depict Chris Chandler I don't how do I say this without getting demonetized Chris Chan finger banged her mom I feel icky just saying it there is audio she has dementia it's terrible at first we thought it was just a rumor, perhaps just a weird joke. I mean, anytime Chris Chan does anything, it's veiled in a level of obscurity and uncertainty. Did this happen? Was this okay? But soon thereafter, there was a confirmation that police had removed Chris Chan from their family home, and then not even 24 hours later, live video footage of Chris Chan being arrested for what we can only assume is doing the dirty with the woman who gave birth to her. Chris Chan is a little bit crazy probably mentally disturbed to some extent. I mean, there's no way there's this much documented stuff. Uh, I don't think I know enough about Chris Chan to be able to quickly document just what a wild ride it is to follow this person's life to any extent. So I'm gonna let my buddy Strixo do it. He's a little bit more well-versed with this particular topic. So considering Sumito here couldn't explain to you just how weird Chris Chan is as a character, and it's honestly a good thing that he can't, I'll go ahead and give you five facts about her life from just the tip of the iceberg so you can get somewhat of an understanding of who we're dealing with here. Fact one, Chris Chan is the creator of Sonic Chu and the Sonic Chu comic. Fact two, she made an album many years ago titled Christian and the Hedgehog Boys. Two songs include A-U-T-I-S-M and my personal favorite, So Need a Cute Girl. Tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with rage. Tell me why I so need a cute girl my age. Tell me why I ain't never want to hear you say I have a boyfriend. Fact three. In 2003, Chris Chan sent in an hour-long documentary to Nintendo touring her Animal Crossing world, possibly making her the first to ever record a Let's Play as we know it. Fact four. Chris Chan is most likely one of the most well-documented humans ever. Fact five. Christine would go in real life and perform an attack called the Kersie Hameha at people she didn't like at the time. Kersie Hameha! She also had a counterattack to reverse the effects called Forgiveness Blessing. Forgiveness Blessings. And as a bonus fact, while she identified as a man earlier in her life, Christine went on a love quest to find her perfect boyfriend-free girl with the requirements currently on screen. Do you meet the requirements to become Chris Chan's girlfriend? Hopefully these facts gave you a small amount of insight into who Chris Chan is as a character and uh, who Sumito is talking about in this video. Thank you, Strixo, and I hope that lend some enlightenment to you at home who have no idea who Chris Chan is. The insane thing is that now there is actual police involvement. There's like mainstream news headlines revolving Chris Chan, and I cannot wait for the mainstream individual non-internet dwelling population to learn about the crazy roller coaster that is Chris Chan. But... We're not just here to talk about internet news, we gotta talk about the memes, and the memes have been crazy. The event is crazy. Who the f does something like this? But the memes wouldn't let up. Two separate memes that have personally become some of my favorites. Obviously, if anybody's talking about doing anything with their mom, you're gonna get yourself a little muscle man from regular show. You know who else was arrested for sexually abusing his mother? My mom! That doesn't really work, actually. Transition! So a little while ago, from Hotel Transylvania, a kid's show documenting the life and invitation of a Count Dracula, there's this four-panel meme, it's not lost, shut up. There's this four-panel meme that everybody sees that's like, hey, sorry I'm late, I was doing stuff. And then the girl's like, haha, I'm stuff. Dracula, sorry I'm late, I was doing stuff. It's okay, I am stuff. Oh my god, Mavis, no! Haha, Jonathan, you are banging my dog! 
So, you know, naturally there's, you saw the thumbnail, you get the joke, okay? There's a whole bunch of variations of this. You know who else is banging his mom? My mom! That doesn't work either. Speaking of topics that are really weird and are definitely gonna get me demonetized, let's just stick them all in the same episode so I can make no money this week. Vaporeon. If I asked you what you thought was the most breedable Pokemon in every generation, your answer, if you're a sane-minded individual, would be Ditto, a Pokemon that could breed with any Pokemon. Wrong. Naga. It's Vaporeon. I mean, look at him. Ugh, so beautiful. This Vaporeon breedable thing comes from a green text that basically outlines that if you were going to bang a Pokemon, you a human, the most compatible with your penis would probably be a Vaporeon. We're talking water type, would not be harmful to you. We're talking the perfect height to be right about there, you know? I'd call it doggy style, but let's be fair, it's Vaporeon style. There have been a plethora of me, I mean, I saw this green text like years ago. I already thought it was one of the more weird, nuanced, you know, virginity driven green text that I had bumped into. But never would I have suspected the level of animation and shit posting to come from the thirst trap that is Vaporeon. You know who else I could evolve with the water stone and then bang whenever I want? Listen, I don't do a great muscle man, but you don't do a great muscle man either. You think you do a good muscle man? Show me in the comments. Oh, wait, you're not a YouTuber. So I guess we're just gonna have to rely on my impression then, aren't we? Transition. Earlier this week, somebody on Twitter tweeted out. Is built like she hulk aren't attractive which is a weird stance to take i mean who doesn't want a muscle clad girlfriend that can lift you up and hug you when you're feeling down this man proceeded to get ratioed into twitter hell by every muscle bound female on the website oh it was beautiful to watch if only it were that easy if only you could just say something negative about a certain type of woman and they just show up in your twitter mentions immediately wait a second You know who else needs to defeat my seven evil exes? Another bit of news, a Fortnite streamer that looks like this has been arrested for enticing children and apparently sexually assaulting them by telling them that he was a big Fortnite streamer. This is a terrible thing to happen. Nowhere am I saying that any part of this is okay. He's a terrible dude. He deserves the death penalty. That being said, if these are your kids, and you're stupid enough to let your kid hang out with someone who looks like this, even if he is a big Fortnite streamer, you're a terrible parent. Hmm, maybe if I disguise myself as a bundle of cotton candy, I can get away with it. You can't. Listen, if, if you're playing Fortnite in 2021, if you're still playing that game, there's already something wrong with you. You know who else should like and subscribe? Transition. So Domino's has recently come under fire. I'll give you five seconds to guess why. Is it because they have gluten in their crust? Does it turn out their pepperoni is only 60% meat? Is it that their pizzas are actually cut into nine slices and that doesn't make any sense mathematically? No, it's because a Domino's ad was played after a wrestling match in which the finishing move one of the dudes decided to use was to take a pizza cutter to his opponent's face. They played that scene and then followed it with a Domino's ad. When you order Domino's carry out, get three topping pizzas for $7.99 each and choose Domino's. You know what this reminds me of? You remember it was like a BBC documentary about two Siamese twins and then they cut to commercial and then the commercial was two attached burgers that you could buy from a local burger place. Like do, do the commercial people and the TV people not talk to each other so this shit doesn't happen? Transition. Last but not least, the Olympics are still going on for f sake. You'd think they'd get it done in like a day or two. It's not that hard. Twitter has been obsessed with a particular sharpshooting female. Her stance is immaculate. I hope she won gold. After Twitter discovered this anime protagonist, Jojo posing ass sharpshooting Olympian, they discovered her Twitter, upon which she has liked a bunch of lewd anime, which I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna become a professional shooter, you gotta be at least a little bit of an anime fan, you know, that shonen protagonist stuff, bro. Thank you so much for making it to the end of another episode of whatever we're calling this. Cash money Patreon boys are in the back. If you want to join them, get your money up, not your funny up, growl. 
Remember to like the video. Remember to click confirm after you hit the unsubscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in next week's video. You know who else says peace? <laughs>